Howdy, partner. I'm Andrew. Today we're going to calculate the molecular mass. Fuck. Fuck. Where's that from? Today we're going to calculate the molecular mass of sodium hypochlorite. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements we see. So we got sodium, we got chlorine, we got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see anything down there, just put a one in there because that's what it is assumed to be. So we've got one atom of each, basically. Then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So sodium is 22.99, chlorine is 35.45, and oxygen is going to be 16. So here we got 22.99 for sodium, 35.45 for chlorine, oxygen was 16. Then you're going to multiply the rows on a cross to find the total mass of the element. So we're going to multiply this. The total mass of then sodium here is going to be 22.99. Total mass of chlorine is going to be 35.45. Total mass of then oxygen is going to be 16. I hope the math on the next test is like that, right? Isn't that what you're thinking? And then to find the total, just simply add this all together. So we get 74.44. And the units here are AMU, atomic mass unit. And that's because we're solving for molecular mass. And that's all it is. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. All right, I really do hope this helped. If it did, like and subscribe. If you can, it definitely helps us out a lot. And uh, check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics. We've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. Stay tuned.